Hi, I'm Christina from HairRomance.com. Today's tutorial is all about how to get great hair fast, and I'll show you how to do this braid as well. You might know this about me already if you've been watching for a while, but I love a hair hack and any kind of beauty shortcut. That's why I've teamed up with Schwarzkopf to share some of my favorite products and how I use them to control my messy hair. You know when you see those tutorials on Pinterest of perfect braids and a lot of YouTube tutorials as well, most of the time they're starting out with perfect hair to begin with. Instead, I wake up with hair that's a bit more like this. So keep watching if you want to learn my favorite product hacks and how to do this braid. Let's get started. I'm pretty much obsessed with this spray. The Schwarzkopf Fiber Therapy Leave-In is more than a conditioner and really strengthens and softens my hair. I spray it all over and it's not too heavy or greasy and so it's great in fine hair too. It absorbs quickly and if your hair isn't too bad to begin with, it might be all that you need. Next up to help with my kind of frizz is the Schwarzkopf BB Cream. Some serums can help tame frizz but my hair is dry and this BB Cream is water-based so it hydrates my hair as well as minimising frizz. I rake this cream through my hair, always moving from root to tip to smooth down the hair. Now an alternative if you've got clean hair that's too soft to style is the Body and Texture Styling Primer. If your hair always falls out, this is for you. Now my hair is easier to work with, we can start the braid. Create a deep side part, just long enough for your braid. Pick up a section of hair at your part and split it into three. We're creating a Dutch braid, which is kind of the opposite of a French braid. So you cross the left under the middle and the right under the left and on the next cross, pick up some hair from your hairline to add into the braid. Repeat this, adding in hair from the back to add into the braid. Then just continue these same steps all the way down and try and angle the braid along your hairline. When braiding curly or wavy hair, I like to add in larger sections and don't even try to keep them neat. I pick up whole curls and let my hair decide where the sections will be. As your braid reaches the top of your ear, stop adding in hair and continue in a regular braid or plait. To hold the braid while I'm styling the bun, I'm just using a bobby pin or you can use a hair elastic. Now it's onto the bun and this is where you can customise it to suit your hair. I'm gathering all of my hair into a low side ponytail and loosening the hair above my elastic to create some volume. For this bun, I split my ponytail into three sections and loop each one around two fingers, tucking the ends in and slide a bobby pin through the back of the loop to hold it in place. I just repeat these loops around the bun to create three equal sections. And once it's all pinned in place, I stretch it out to create a more even rounded shape. If you have long hair, you can do a normal twisted bun or any kind of bun you like. Now it's onto my favorite part, the Schwarzkopf Volume Powder. This is truly a magic potion and my secret to Pinterest worthy braids. Sprinkle it down your braid and pat it in. Use it like salt, add a little first, and if you need more, you can add it later. It changes from a white powder to an invisible liquid that dries matte in seconds. It allows me to stretch out braids for mega volume. It also holds in loose layers that want to keep falling out of braids too. I work up and down the braid to stretch it out. Holding the end with one hand and stretching with the other allows you to make it a lot wider. Keep working your braid until you're happy with the size of it and then wrap the end of it over and around your bun. Tuck the ends of your braid underneath and secure them with a bobby pin. Finally, if you want your style to stay all day, a mist of hairspray will hold it in place. Two quick hairspray hacks are to spray the product onto your hand to smooth down any flyaways on top. And for those tiny baby hairs, Spray a clean brush with hairspray and use it to brush up your hairline and tidy your braid. I hope you like this hairstyle and that you give it a try in your hair. I'd love to see it. Tag me Hair Romance on Instagram. And you can follow me at Hair Romance and Schwarzkopf AU for more hair inspiration. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss my next video. 
and come over to hairromance.com for all of my styles there. I'll see you next time. Bye.